Hello, I'm Andy Hone from the University of Kent in Canterbury, UK, and I'm going to tell you about continued fraction expansions for certain Engel series. So it's well known that any real number can be expanded in the form of a continued fraction. And if one ignores the integer part, then that just looks like a descending fraction, one over y1 plus 1 over y2 plus 1 over y3 and so on. But perhaps what is less well known is that any um, positive real number also admits an expansion in the form of an Engel series. And that's a series which looks like 1 over x1 plus 1 over x2 plus 1 over x3 and so on. So a sum of reciprocals of integers where each integer is divisible by the previous one. So x1 divides x2, x2 divides x3, and so on. And one can also think of that as a kind of ascending continued fraction. If you take the, the ratios of the denominators, the x's, um, call them y, then you get 1 over y1 times 1 plus 1 over y2 times 1 plus 1 over y3, and so forth. Now, what I consider in this paper is a very particular kind of Engel series, so a sum of reciprocals of integers xj, where now each integer is divisible by the square of the preceding one. So x1 squared divides x2, x2 squared divides x3, and so on. And what I'm able to show is that for any such um, Engel series of this particular kind, one can always find an explicit expression for the continued fraction expansion. So um, this is given essentially in terms of the ratios of the successive terms in the sequence of x, x terms, the sequence of denominators, um, and it's given by a recursive procedure. So you can describe finite rational approximations to this infinite series, and then the pattern of those finite approximations by you obtain by truncating the series then have a natural uh, recursive structure kind of folded structure which repeats and gives you the continued fraction expansion for the whole series in the limit when the number of terms goes to infinity so you might be wondering what was my motivation for considering um, an Engel series of this kind, and it actually came from thinking about nonlinear recurrent sequences. And for quite a while, I've been interested in a particular kind of nonlinear recurrence relations, which have what's called the Laurent property. And what that means is that the terms of the sequence, if you think of the initial values as variables, can be expressed as Laurent polynomials in those variables with integer coefficients. So that means polynomials in the initial data and their reciprocals with integer coefficients. And so um, such, a, such a sequence of Laurent polynomials, if you put in um, the initial values at one, or one, or take one, or in fact minus one, will produce a sequence of integers. So um, the simplest examples of this kind uh, are given by a recurrence relation uh, xn plus 1 times xn minus 1 is a polynomial in xn. And I considered in the past uh, necessary conditions, like necessary and sufficient conditions, for such a polynomial to generate a sequence um, of Laurent polynomials. And 
these things have been um, of great interest recently in um, algebra or algebraic combinatorics because they arise in Fomin and Zelovinsky's theory of cluster algebras. In fact, um, the Laurent property comes out automatically from Fomin and Zelovinsky's axioms for a cluster algebra. But the kind of recurrences that I considered are actually outside the cluster algebra axioms. And um, so certain uh, choices of polynomials which produce second order recurrence relations, nonlinear recurrence relations with the Laurent property, and they therefore generate integer sequences starting from the initial values 1, 1. And uh, well, one, of, one such sequence I uh, put onto Sloan's online encyclopedia of integer sequences, and one of the other sequence fans, like myself, um, noticed this um, a property about the summing the reciprocals of such a sequence that it had a a very particular pattern in the continued fraction, and this was what made, led me to consider these sorts of Engel series. Um, but in fact, um, a particular type of these Engel series had been considered a while ago. Uh, so in the beginning of the 80s, Shalit looked at in, um, sequen Engel series given by reciprocals of powers of a fixed integer of bigger than one. Um, and the, the powers, if they grow sufficiently fast, generate um, a, a an Engel series which has um, a, a nice continued fraction pattern which fits into um, the general class of Engel series that I consider in this paper. And uh, one such series was considered by Kempner, and that's if you take a half plus a half squared plus a half to the power of four, plus a half to the power of eight, plus a half to the power of 16, and so on. That's called the Kempner number. Kempner was able to show that that's transcendental. And in my paper, I show that um, the sequences that come from these um, nonlinear recurrence sequences, their, their Engel series also um, produce transcendental numbers. So that comes by an application of Roth's theorem because it's possible to approximate them very well by rational numbers. Um, so it's a reasonable guess that all of the Engel series of the kind I consider will produce transcendental numbers, but I don't know, so that's all.